coming to Bear Creek. Uh, it's uh, Saturday, June 15th, 2019. I got a uh, uh, another weekend off, uh, remarkably. But um, of course, I got it off because, um, well, it's. Uh, let's see if you can see that it's uh, supposed to rain today and tomorrow and maybe in the next day. So um, that's why I got it off rather than. Uh, than uh, having a really nice weekend to uh, get get stuff done but nonetheless I decided to uh, try to get stuff done and the reason for this video is um, kind of ran into a an issue I saw when I got back from Florida with um, two, two hives behind me um, saw a lot of chalk brood in it we've had an extremely cold rainy on and off warm day cold day warm day cold rain day um, you know yesterday it rained all day uh, and it was 46 degrees in the morning just you know June 15th you just don't expect those kind of temperatures um, I might have a little problem with my two frame mating nukes because it got so cold um, I was not expecting this at all um, so they might have a problem keeping the brood that I gave them warm um, but uh, back to this colony here um, you know these two colonies uh, with all the chalk brood um, you know I've, I've heard reports actually all across the region of uh, colonies really not booming and taking off and these two are perfect examples of that uh, coming out of winter they were a little weak uh, well one was weak one was so-so and but I sacrificed some you know brood or some workers from one to help the other one off now they're about on equal grounds but um, they're kind of in a holding pattern and are not um, producing a whole ton of brood um, and that's not going to be good for um, for the honey flow coming up uh, very very shortly so I gotta do something about that you know I'm, I'm, uh, I'm sacrificing my my other colonies that I have uh, my packages for uh, I'm pulling out a, a frame of brood uh, every five days or so to create uh, mating nukes. Um, I don't know if I'm going to have enough to, you know, throw a frame or, or two of brood in each one of these. They could use it I'd definitely if I want any honey out of these colonies. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is try to um, help this colony out with their um, with their chalk brood. Uh, massive amounts. Now it could be European fall brood, uh, could be um, just chalk brood just because it's cold and rainy. Um, I'm not exactly sure, uh, but uh, a remedy for both is uh, getting them on a flow and um, getting them, you know, uh, proper uh, pollen and nutrition in the hive. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to pop the hive. I'm going to show you what uh, what I'm talking about because you it's very very easy to see the chalk brood in there um, and but I'm gonna feed them some um, one to two sugar water it's not one to one it's not two to one it's one to two uh, a little weaker solution with uh, a, a couple tablespoons or teaspoons of apple cider vinegar um, the acidity um, can actually help help out the bees and um, create a healthy colony now it's a uh, it's sort of a, a recipe passed down from beekeeper to beekeeper for the last, you know, hundred years. They've been doing it for eons, and um, I hear it works. My commercial uh, boss that I work for, this is what he suggested that I do. Uh, the next step after that is, um, you know, throwing some um, antibiotic on it, um, like thymol or, or teramycin, um, but you need a prescription for that. So this is the first step in that. So today, what I like I said, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give them a little feed, and I'm going to throw a little pollen patty on them just to give them a help up because you know with this rain, they, there's just not pollen, pollen coming in or nectar coming in. This colony back here was a little light that I checked out. Now on the flip side, which was really funny, um, our colonies that came back from Florida, extremely powerful colonies. They came back from Florida. I mean, they're pouring out of the front front entrance. Um, and we had to do a lot to stop them from swarming. Um, just extremely powerful. And uh, we put a super on them right away as they got here. And in 
a week they had filled a, a medium super full of honey. That's how a powerful colony, the difference between a powerful colony and a weak colony, like I said, they're in a standing pattern. They, uh, they, need, they need all hands on deck to keep the brood warm and uh, there's just not enough hands on deck. So they don't have a lot to go out and forage. So what I'm gonna do, like I said, is I'm gonna simulate a flow, a weaker solution so they don't store it in the honey supers. They can consume it right away. And um, and then we'll, we'll go from there. Um, so I just wanted to kind of show you. Now let's see if I can, um, I can show you uh, what I'm talking about as far as the, uh, the uh, chalk brood is concerned. Now this is the this is the colony, and you can kind of see all the chalk brood stacked up on the bottom of the board here. And this is the other one. You can see all the chalk brood stacked up on the bottom board here. Um, you know, it's funny because each colony really has 10 frames of bees, um, not completely full. This one has a really spotty brood pattern. This one has a pretty solid brood pattern. I was in this one two days ago, and I was looking at it with a spotty brood pattern. Mm -hmm. And um, it was it was getting dark when I went in it, and I didn't find the queen, and I really couldn't see eggs. But you know I did see some larvae and stuff like that. But uh, I really want to find the queen in this one, make sure it is queen right. Uh, and um, but they haven't started any any emergency cells or anything like that. But uh, um, but we have to kind of just assess the. Uh, just the condition of the hive itself. That's very, very important uh, to maintain healthy colonies is you gotta assess, make corrections on the fly. So do what we gotta do. So let me um, get my uh, bonnet on here and, uh, and then we'll go in and take a look. Okay. They are in the honey super here, but uh, they're not really storing any honey, but they are up there. I'll, I'll show you here. Oh. Well, they're storing a little bit away. You can kind of see that. But not a ton. So we're gonna just gonna take this off. Take the cleaning screw off. Here's a tip for you when you're taking a queen excluder off pry on the frames or pry on the box, but do not pry on the queen excluder itself. You don't want to bend the metal. Okay? Okay, I think you can get a pretty good shot of that. Okay. Let's take a quick look here. Just so you can see what I'm seeing here. But you see all the spotty brood pattern? The shotgun type. And then there you can see right in the frame there. Some chalk brood. Now I don't see sunken cells and I don't see 
anything that would uh, sort of resemble EFB scaling cells or anything like that but uh, that's not what you want to see definitely and uh, I'm looking in the bottom of the cells and I do see I do see brood in the bottom of the cells really there's not a lot of light out here today and then here's the opposite this one's got a little bit better brood pattern to it right right in here And there's queen cup. Let's see if we can uh, get in there and see if there's anything. I don't think there's anything in there. But they're at the bottom, so we have to uh, keep our eye on that. So I just tore them open just to verify and yep, nothing in, in either one of them there. There, nor there. So I'm just going to do a quick scan for the queen. And I don't see her on this frame. But actually here, here's a, here's a good, whoa, here's a good example. Now here. Um... Right there, you see that? You see him tearing that tearing that cell out? They're tearing the cell out. They're uncapping the cell and tearing it out. Something definitely wrong here. So hopefully a little bit of vinegar can help this colony out. I didn't see the queen. Very, very calm colony though, so typically no big roar. I'm not hearing a big roar. So I'm gonna guess that it's uh, queen right. I see lots of brood in between in the shotgun pattern, so that's a good sign. That's a really good sign. There, that's a little bit better. A little bit better pattern here and uh, with brood being developed in the middle so that's good but there you can see some of the chalk brood that I was talking about right there and there they'll be pulling those out sad state of affairs when that's you see that happening Right now, I'm just looking for the queen. Not that I need to find her, because I'm pretty sure she's here, given the fact of the age of the of the larvae that I'm finding. Very, very calm colony today. It's cool out. Very, very cool. This is very, very unlike my colonies. Okay, now this one has eggs in it, so I know I'm queen right. That's a good sign. Let's see if you can, I don't know if you can see this kind of stuff in here. But maybe you can see the eggs. I've got a new camera that I'm, I'm using, so it's a little more clear on the up close. But again, so you can see some of the chalk brood down below, right there. But again, these colonies, this colony is in a, sort of a holding pattern. With that many that they had to lost and pulled out, they're not growing. And that's a major concern. 
So we have to intervene and do something about it to help them. And I think it has a lot more to do with the weather than anything. Weather and a weaker colony coming out of winter. Yep, eggs. Good. Good, good, good. You know, I was doing... See, now there's a good pattern here. This is a, a new frame that they just drew out with... Uh, Very, very good uh, brood pattern there. A little spotty here and there. Still running into some chalk brood. But good. That's not so good. But I, we were doing commercial. I had to get back to what I was saying. We were doing commercial. Um, inspections of colonies and uh, because we were doing a lot of patching in this yard we had to find the queen and uh and all these colonies and um the queen was actually on the outside frame a lot and this is really funny because this is actually the outside frame there is no nothing in it absolutely not a thing no pollen no eggs no brood no honey, no nothing. You don't want to see that. Okay. Well, she's not here. She's not here. Very, very light on the stores, this colony is. Yep, I don't think this colony is going to be making me much honey this year, which is a shame. There ain't nothing on this. No eggs, no nothing. No, there's a little bit of brood up on top. Hmm, okay. Well, that's all right. Not a lot of bees. You'd think I could find the queen real quick here. Zeus. And honestly, what I should have done is accept, uh, instead of leaving this, this colony, um, weak, I should have put it in a nuke to allow them to, uh, to better keep it warm. There ain't nothing out here. Boy, I haven't found the queen. Boy, that sucks. And the bottom, actually, you can kind of see if you can kind of dip in there. You can sort of see the chalk brood down the bottom there.
again did not find the queen, which is disturbing. But I did find eggs. Nope, nope, nope. One thing I'm going to do is give them a pollen patty here. Okay. Oh well. Actually, now that I have this on, I don't need this. Okay, I'm gonna give it a, a box and a lid here, and then uh, well first we're gonna go into this other hive and take a look at it.
it did have a top on it, but there are no bees up here, which is a little odd, considering this colony actually has more bees in it than the other one. A little funny. If you remember, this colony was a weaker colony, and I swapped locations, and uh, all the foragers from the other hive came over here and uh, boosted this hive up and to give it a leg up. This was only a frame and a half of bees when we started the winter, or we started the spring. Okay. Now I literally have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine frames of bees in this colony versus the other one, but there's less in the supers. Go figure there, huh? Now this one had less. chalk brood in it when I checked it but there is a lot of chalk brood down on the bottom that I just noticed today or yesterday so we're just going to take a quick peek in here yep same thing little shoddy brood pattern there you can see the you can see the chalk brood funny thing one thing I noticed not a lot of pollen in that first colony whatsoever that's why I'm giving them a pollen patty Okay, there are eggs, if you can see them here. On the bottom of some of these cells. So that's a good sign. Oh my goodness, this is one big propolizing colony right here, man. Woo. Oh, come on guys, give me a break. Well, I'm sure you can see that. That wasn't hard to miss, huh? Doesn't look like there's anything on the bottom. These bees are a little bit more bothered by our presence than the other colony. Propolizing making bees right here, man. Hooey.
you know, you, you, when you see something like this, you'd like to think that they're about ready to take off, but, you know, with that amount of shotgun in there, uh, and it's not a shotgun brood pattern, it's really just a chalk brood, um, but with that amount, that, that takes pretty good dent in your colony. I mean, look at that. Brutal. Just brutal. Like I said, my other colonies, the packages, they were, they came in extremely strong, um, obviously with a lot of numbers. And so they're able to warm their brood and keep everything warm and still have enough foragers to go out and do their thing where these colonies just did not, so. That's why my packages are doing so much better. Boy, there ain't nothing in here. Whew. Larva. And they're not swimming in royal jelly, but. Again, that's not much there, you know? Okay. These are both 2018 queens. This has been in there long enough, I think. Queen cup with nothing in it. Yep, we got to get these colonies healthy, healthier, without question. We have yet to find the queen on either one. Not a lot of pollen in these. There's eggs in there. Okay. Oh, no queen on either one that I could see, but I know there is one somewhere. Okie dokie.
Okay, so, you know, in about, I'm going to give them about a week and then check in on it again and uh, see how the colony is coming along. Uh, as you can see, there was probably a lot of chalk brood in there. Nothing really that uh, screamed to me, you know, European fall brood or anything like that. Uh, I think just cold, wet uh, conditions with a weak colony uh, contributed to that on both counts. So hopefully a little bit of pollen patty, a little bit of sugar water, uh, light sugar water with um, uh, apple cider vinegar will um, sort of give them a little bit of uh, boost and uh, help clean all that up and uh, get them ro rolling again. Again, you know, I, I, just based on the size of those colonies, I'm not, I'm not seeing that I'm going to be able to produce any honey this year. I'll have to rethink things. Um, maybe I can pull out a frame of uh, cat brood from um, some of my nukes, uh, resource nukes. I was going to do some splits with them, but instead I might just take some and, uh, and boost these colonies. It, each one could use two, to be honest with you, uh, at least, um, to give it a give it that, mm, you know, so to bring them into the honey flow. So we'll see. Stay tuned, and uh, thanks for watching. Until next time, happy beekeeping. And, um, you know, it's getting, the temperature is dropping, and it's probably going to rain here soon. I need to get out to the farm and take a look at those, um, those mating nukes that I did. Uh, it's day five. I want to get rid of the cells that, uh, if there are cap cells, I want to get rid of those. And if there's, there's cap cells and uncapped cells, I want to get rid of the cap cells because those were made by the, uh, using older brood because we're at day five now. And, um, so that that will uh, ensure that I'm that the, the queens that the cells queen cells that are left are made from um, from the youngest possible brood or eggs as it were so uh, stay tuned for that maybe I can get to it today if it warms up uh, maybe we'll have a rain shower and I'll, they'll catch a break and we'll be able to go over there so till next time happy beekeeping